Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another part in the amazing adventures in the land of falling off edges. No, in grapple. But I'm trying to get through this game as fast as possible because I've speedrun the demo and I wanna see what's possible in full game. Oh, I can't go over there. Where am I going? Over here I guess. Did I have enough speed? It's probably with a perfect swing it might actually be possible to swing from here. Yeah, it looks possible. But I didn't have enough speed right then. So, if I fail it that much, I'm just gonna do it normally. Well, <laughs> normally, I'm just going over here. That's why I don't know why these things have to be, uh, have to have this sort of weird geometry to the. I mean. This should just, just be one pixel, because you only, you only need one pixel to be able to grab something. It doesn't have to be this giant platform with the V-shape. Where are we going topside this time? It's not that much slow, I guess. Should have maybe jumped. Okay, sorry guys. If I fail it that much once again, I'm just gonna do it the normal way. Because I know we, I do want to get through this game, and this stage was not actually in the demo, so I was trying new, out new stuff. You know, trying out new stuff is always important. Especially in games like these, where you're never quite sure if you can actually make stuff or not. Why would that jump so shit? Okay, that actually took a while. I think that was actually one of the stages so far that took the longest time. I think so far every stage was a lot shorter than that. Maybe like one or two exceptions. I don't know where I'm going right now, but it doesn't matter. Whoa! Maybe it does matter. I almost did the same thing, but this time I was more careful about it. Ah, uh, I can't go anywhere else other than this. Uh, this is odd. I could have probably skipped a lot of this. I don't know. And we're jumping. Oh. Go over here. Go up there. Let go. We're off. Oh, this is a nice jump. If this jump was also the demo, let's do it again. Can we do it? Oh, oh, I got that like once in the demo and never ever since. Can we go on the other side of this? That would be so much easier. Okay, there we go. And we're off once more. Oh, this stage was also in the demo. Can I for how this game works, this is actually one of those stages where you can actually get a lot of momentum. But I haven't played this game in a long time and I don't actually <laughs> remember the correct sequence of platforms in here. Oh, I have to make it to this one. Never mind. By the way, I'm not actually looking at my crosshair when I'm doing that because there's no time to react to your crosshair. By the time you react to your crosshair, you've already fallen off. Because the crosshair, if you if it's as close as this, you probably only have like a few frames to react to your crosshair, and a few frames are not enough to react to a crosshair in human reaction time. So that's why I'm doing it when I think I'm hitting it. This stage is a lot shorter in full game, and it actually works better to actually do it on feeling instead of doing it like that, instead of doing it on reaction a lot more of the time. So I'm pretty happy with that. Where are we going? We're going over here. Can I go below that? Oh yeah, of course I can. I mean, this is grapple. You can do almost anything in this game. And even the things you can't do, you can probably do if you're better. Oh my god. That was not supposed to happen like that. Well, this is awkward. But don't worry, we're gonna save it, I think. Oh, this! I just noticed the sides are red. I don't know what that pickup is, but it looks a lot different than the other ones. Let's get back. Okay, I don't know what, what that was all about, but that just happened, I guess. And I got the checkpoint now. Oh, that was red on that side as well, but the other side was blue. I almost did not know. 
going on this side now. I don't know if I still have to pick up. I mean, I did get the checkpoint afterwards, but I don't know if that even saves it. I mean, it might just not save it. I don't know. Wait, you can actually do that shot. Whatever, you're not doing it though. You're doing it this way. If I get this in a better way... Make it needlessly complicated right now. And I'm making it needlessly complicated right here because I can just do this. That's a lot easier. <laughs> I know I didn't do that from the start, whatever. For some reason I'm a miracle worker now, 1 out of 20. And what could this stage be? Go to the right! Like, this <laughs> like I said, it would have worked in the demo. With the new momentum system, it's a, little it's a bit harder to control your momentum, like where you're actually going. I mean, in mid-air it's a lot harder to control your momentum. And no, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just going. Oh, this part is red. No, I... By the way, the exit was right below me, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what was that stage? It's, it's trying to tell you you can't jump here or else you're gonna die, but yeah, I mean, you can just do this. And be like, whatever, oh my god, this is not too far, this is not too far. Make it. Obviously. I think the stage was also in the demo. I keep saying that, but there were 30 stages in the demo, and there's 90 stages in this one. Oh, that didn't count. That didn't count. I almost made it on top of that. I'm probably gonna do that if I can't speed on this game or anything. I might speed on the full version, though the full version speed would be a lot more... Would be a lot harder because, and a lot more uh, intense because it's 90 stages instead of 30. And like I said, the new momentum. I actually don't know if the momentum is newer, if I'm just really fucking rusty. But I'd imagine it's probably new, I don't know. Why did I not see that before? Eh. Up there. We're going. We're going. Oh, the music is kicking in. Oh, this is, oh, this is so new. It's a maze. It's all very easy to listen to this, but... Right now I'm dying. It's up there. I might even be able to swing up there, but it would take a long time to actually gain the momentum to swing up there. Oh, this is this is a cool idea for a stage. I love this. Okay, I should actually jump there, but it still worked. That's one of those stages where it's really hard to tell exactly what you're doing, so it's hard for me to actually try and break the stage. Because I really don't know what I'm doing that much. But, like I said, I imagine the stage could be- Whoa, that wasn't even a checkpoint. Something like that was a checkpoint. Like I said, I could imagine the stage could be easily broken. Like, for example, let's just see if I can get around here. Like, I think- because I think the part I saw over there was outside. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's outside. It's over here. And that's what Secret Specs looks like. That's, that's the thing though, if, especially for games like this, where so far I'm the only one that, that I actually know plays the full game. I knew like one other guy that played the demo. Sadly I forgot his name because I haven't seen him in a really long time, I'm really sorry. Um, and I'm the only one that actually, I only have to know person that, not just I know runs, or at least wants to run the full game, but I know that actually plays this game. I know like, no other person that actually plays this game, so... It's really hard to actually like try and find out possible tricks. So, you know what? I'm finding out these tricks on my own. These are my tricks that I'm finding. My secret tricks. And I'm gonna keep finding them. As much as I can. Because that is what speedrunning is like. Oh my god, how bad was that? I had so way too much speed for this section. At least I'm trying to do it this way. Doing it this way, however, is not easy. Oh my god, that's so sad. And if I do it 
if I keep doing it like this, if I keep trying to be more, uh, finding more tricks, then one day maybe I'll become a sock holder of my own. Yes, if you don't know, sock I mean, a sock holder. There's a guy called Sock Folder. He's just a snake name. Uh, he's known in the Zelda community or in the Castlevania community, in any community that, that has speedrunning in it. Sockfaller is known to break pretty much any game. If it's like, oh, Sockfaller just started playing this game, it's like, okay, two days later, this speedrun time is gonna be cut in half. Not because Sockfaller runs the game, but because Sockfaller is gonna find such incredibly fucking great skips that are just gonna skip most of the game. A lot of, this, a lot of the cool tricks you see in Ocarina of Time speedruns, for example, found by Sockfaller. A lot of the tricks that make Castlevania pretty broken are ah, found by Sockfaller. This is completely new! What the fuck is that? It's. Springs! That's completely new. I love it. Also, I'm gonna have to actually cut the part in a bit because I'm actually having a really weird smell right now. I think it might just be my roommate, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna have to check that out in a sec. Okay, I'm gonna have to swing up this, right? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna end the part right here. I know this hasn't been 10 minutes, but... What the fuck is that smell? See you in a second.